I like the fact that Chad Johnson is working with FAMU as some kind of ambassador to work on special events. Now we all know Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson from a sound with the Cincinnati Bengals. Chad put up big numbers for the Cincinnati Bengals. When he retired, he did some reality TV, celebrity boxing. Chad Johnson said he fell in love with FAMU back in 1984 when his grandmother brought him to a game. Chad Johnson is a Miami native. He has worked with FAMU before in an unofficial capacity. Chad Johnson is a legendary wide receiver, but he's also legendary for not spending all his money and blowing his NFL money by being smart with his NFL money. He lives a comfortable life. And Chad Johnson can definitely help the young students at FAMU when it comes to life skills, how to handle money, how to handle potentially NFL careers. This is a great hire by FAMU. Of course he's gonna be around that football program. So that won't hurt. That won't hurt the football program. I like this hire. And we all gone mad. Are we all crazy? Sean Kemp in the mall, busting shots. All these cameras, video cameras. I don't want to believe it, but uh, this tall joker looks like Sean Kemp. I really don't know what's going on now. I tend to remember this Sean Kemp when he played for Seattle from eight, from 1989 to 1997. The Sean Kemp that helped lead the Seattle Supersonics to the NBA Finals against Michael Jordan. Now, of course, they lost, but Sean Kemp averaged 23 and 10. Also remember the Sean Kemp that went to Cleveland, signed a $107 million deal, and still led them in his first season to the playoffs. Now, he did gain some weight in Cleveland, and he had some issues. He bounced around the league. They traded him to Portland, played with Orlando, but it's hard for me to see a cat that I still watch his highlights. It's on my commute. I still watch some of his highlights. His dunks are legendary. I know after your career is over, people go through changes. And Sean Kemp even has businesses in Seattle. He has a dispensary. I believe he has a restaurant. So to see a tall joker that could be Sean Kemp in a mall parking lot with a firearm, ah, uh, is it's just crazy. Like what led him? To, what led him to do this? If this is Sean Kemp, what's going on with him? His saving grace is that it happened in Seattle. He's a legend. He knows a lot of connected people that he probably got to spend some money to get out of this. Also a saving grace is no one got hurt. So that'll help him. But what brought this on? My guess it could be anything. Maybe he had some kind of dispute with the person. Maybe it was over money. Maybe it was some illegal activity going on and he had beef with the person. But if this is him, it's not a good look, man. Like this, like I said, Sean Kemp will, will always be the rain man. The Seattle Supersonics basketball player to me. Now, more than likely, he's going to beat this. And if he doesn't beat it totally, he'll spend some money. Uh, he knows a lot of people in Seattle. Tacoma, state of Washington. He's a legend in Seattle. He get probation or something like that. And I know the seriousness of the crime. I'm just saying, when you're well connected and got a couple of dollars, and you're famous, you can make a lot of things disappear and go away. Talk about Sean Kim, almost a Hall of Famer.
almost what 16,000 points, 15,000 points, 9,000 rebounds. So let's let the investigation play out and let's see where this where this goes. Let's see the outcome of this case. Look, I'll talk to you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net.